It's finally time. The rerun of Final Fantasy Tactics is coming out this week. I'm sure everybody knows already. If you don't, what? You're born under a rock or something? I don't think that's how the saying goes. You're living under a rock? Anyway, so Final Fantasy Tactics rerun is finally coming back. But first, we're also getting a new unit, Garusa. Um, he's a 100 cost wind unit. He's pretty powerful, I think. I've heard good things. I haven't looked into him too much because I do plan on skipping him. I don't know if any of you guys out there are looking forward to this guy. I think he's pretty cool in the story, and I'm actually really interested to see where the story with him goes. But uh, I don't have a lot of Vizior right now, and not only is Final Fantasy Tactics rerunning this week, so I know a lot of people are going to be wanting to go in on that, the JP anniversary live stream came out the other day and they're having a collab with Final Fantasy X-2 pretty soon which is gonna have Pain, Riku, and Yuna which yeah we already have a version of Yuna and yeah maybe a lot of people don't really care about Pain because they don't know her but Riku we've never had a Riku before in this game so we're finally getting a Riku but anyways I think the yeah actually I'm curious let me know in the comments if anyone here is gonna pull on Garusa or you're gonna just hope to get lucky and get him later on down the line um, but for me, the big thing this week is the Final Fantasy Tactics stuff. Oh, it's not even in the same tab. I thought it was in that tab. Not even in that tab. So Final Fantasy Tactics, boom, it comes with Ramza. Well, it doesn't come with, but it brings to the availability, uh, yeah, words. Ramza, Thunder God, Sid, Orlando, um, Agrius, Delita, Mustadio, and Gafgarion. Now, Gafgarion is completely free. He's a character that you'll just get upon logging in, and then also all of his shards are completely free. He's an MR unit, so keep that in mind. But if you're looking for another dark MR unit and you missed all the previous Final Fantasy Tactics collabs, now is the best time, your perfect opportunity to pick him up and max him out for free. Uh, you literally just farm his shards in one of the battles. Um, but Delita, Agrius, Orlando, and Ramza are all like premium UR units that you have to pull for and then Mustadio is also an MR unit but you do have to like pull him while you're going for the other units he's not free but he is an MR unit so he should be easier to get but I don't know it all depends on your luck I guess but anyways yeah um Agrius Ramza Orlando Delita they're all 80 cost units so they're not like Crazy. I mean, these guys came out a long time ago, right? So we didn't have 100 cost meta back then. These guys are 80 cost, um, but they're good, especially Agrius and Orlando. I think Agrius and Orlando are the ones that you're probably going to see people using the most. As far as team compositions I've seen and heard of, they are definitely the top two in terms of PvP. Ramza is no slouch, though. Ramza's pretty good, too. Like, you can definitely make Ramza work. I have heard some mixed things about Delita though, like he's very good for PvE, but not that great in PvP. So, uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there will make him work, but it sounds like the easier ones to use are Agrius and Orlando. Um, and I know I used both of them a ton way back in the day. Now, the good thing about this Final Fantasy Tactics collab is they're getting tons of upgrades. They're not just getting, like, their 140 and nothing else. They're getting their 140, they're getting limit break uh, enhancements, they're getting a bunch, as a matter of fact, I can just show you, they're getting a bunch of their abilities all added to. So like, for example, Orlando, his, we'll go over Divine Ruination, I'm not going to go over every ability here, that would make this video take 9 hours, but like, for example, Divine Ruination, it's getting, everything in yellow is being added. So, lowers lightning resist of enemies within range for three turns, then deals damage L, okay? Um, all of these abilities are getting stuff added to them for all of the characters. Some of them a lot, some of them a little, but either way, it's huge. And not only that, but these characters are also, when I say these characters, I mean the four characters of um, Ramza, Orlando, Agrius, and Delita. Okay, let me just go over this stuff. They're... Training challenge missions will be held. Also, there's two vision cards in this collab as well. I'll talk about them more after. But they're getting limit burst enhancements for those four. Their transcendence is unlocking for all of them, even the MR units. Um, improvements to stats and attack type resistances for the four UR units that I mentioned. 
So this is going to bring them in line with modern day units, which is a big, big deal. This is huge because not many year one units can hang in today's game. And these are all year one units. As a matter of fact, Ramza and Orlando, they're like, I want to say month two of the game coming out. And I think Agrius and Delita were about the six month range, if, I ha if I'm remembering correctly. But they're all very old and uh they're all getting buffed to to work in the modern era which is amazing they're not 100 costs so they won't they shouldn't be super hard to pull um a bunch of the gear from the collab is getting upgraded as well so yeah it's a big deal this is a huge collab that a lot of people have been really looking forward to now oh yeah so this is what i was saying you get gafgarian and you also get blades of grass which is a ur vision card for logging in on day one then you get some random stuff for the duration of the thing. There's a there's a free ticket on day four and day six. It's only a single ticket though, so um, keep that in mind. Now uh, I do believe there were a lot of banners that should make going for these units very easy on people. I think I could be wrong, but I I feel like there was even a free one that JP got a free banner to pull one of the units. Um, I could be wrong on that though. We'll have to wait to see the banners for when the update goes live. But uh, yeah, just Final Fantasy Tactics, man. It's such an amazing game. I am looking forward to this so much, and I think a lot of you guys have been too. Additionally to that, we're also getting 40 Garusa shards to log in and four tickets to pull for Garusa. So if you don't really care for Tactics or you already... I already have everything for Tactics, but I'm pumped because they're getting such good upgrades. I cannot wait to use these characters in modern things, you know? They're so good. I haven't used... If you guys ever watch my Orlando polls from back in the day, it was my worst poll video. It cost me like 110k Vizior. As a matter of fact, it was such a long poll session, it took two videos. I had to break it down into two videos. Um, yeah, it was wild. And I'm really excited to be able to use him again and know that it's not going to be just dead weight. So this is really cool. But uh, anyways, yeah. So there's other stuff coming though, not only tactics, arena bonus. JP up, double up campaign for EXP in the Tactics events. Um, the new monthly thing is starting. Yeah, it's... There's a ton of different Tactics, uh, like, events, too, in the game. There's a little collaboration event quest. There's a part two. One of these is the one where you'll farm the Gafgarian shards in. Um, there are a bunch of weapons that you can go for. There are, there's a deep dungeon, which is basically like a tower, a porcelain tower, sort of, but it's the deep dungeon, which if you guys ever beat Tactics and you did the end game, you know there was that dark, deep dungeon in Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, it's basically that, but the War of the Vision style. Um, there's a high difficulty quest for the mission, so there's a lot. Now, I don't think they're adding many new things, so if you already have all this stuff done, I'm not sure what there's going to be. For you to do there might be like a, a new mission here or there i don't fully know but you'll probably have most of it completed already if you're someone that was around for the previous collabs but um either way there's a ton of them there's a lot there's a lot of gear to farm there's accessory weapons um yeah see this is the midnight's deep it's the deep dungeon thing and it's just instead of going up a tower in this one you're going down and it's dark um, but as enemies or your own units, I guess, turn into crystals, just like in Final Fantasy Tactics, it will light up the room. So you'll finally be able to see in there. Uh, it's hard to explain, but yeah, if you've played Tactics, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, just picture it like Porcelain Tower, but easy. it's going to be easier because this content is super old. But it's still good to do because I think this is the only way to get Agrius' sword, maybe. Uh, there's definitely a sword or something in there, and there's other stuff too. There's a bunch of rewards. Anyways, there's going to be a new storyline this week as well. Garusa's Katana also. The, the training quest for Garusa stuff. Yeah, I think that's about it though. The guild battle and arena maps are going to be buffed for both Garusa and the Final Fantasy Tactics units. So you can use any of those things for good like bonuses. I mean, you can use other stuff too, but those are the reason these things are getting buffed. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to end it there, I think. I just really wanted to talk about Tactics because I'm excited. I know a lot of people are excited. Listen, Final Fantasy Tactics is the reason why a lot of people got into this game in the first place. 
I'd say the biggest two contributors to people playing this game were Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably found the game because of Final Fantasy VII or Final Fantasy X, or maybe just none of them. Maybe it was just a coincidence that you found it. But a huge portion of the Final Fantasy Tactics, um, or of the players, were fans of Final Fantasy Tactics. And if you've never played Final Fantasy Tactics, well, you're really missing out because it is an amazing game. And I really hope they remake or port the game or something pretty soon because it's been a long time since I think there's been a port for this game to bring it to modern day technology. Anyways though, I am gonna end this video. I almost said stream. I'm gonna end this video, but just know Final Fantasy Tactics is on the way. I'm excited. Are you guys gonna pull for Garusa or are you just gonna pull for Tactics stuff? I'm personally, I already have the Tactics stuff, so I'm gonna skip Garusa and save for Final Fantasy X-2 with Yuna, Pain, and Riku. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you're still enjoying everything about this game or whatever and look forward to there are a lot of amazing fifth anniversary changes coming to this game that are going to make it really that are going to be really good for the player base. I'll talk about them in another video or if you really want to know, you can ask in discord or whatever. But this video has been long, so I'm going to call it here. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will be live streaming this update with all the tactic stuff um, when it goes live. So if you're watching this before the update came out, just know I'll be up um, on the day it goes live, I should say. Not like the second the server comes up or anything like that, but the day that this is out, I will be streaming that day with this stuff. So anyways, I will see you guys. Thank you. Farewell. Goodbye. And all that good stuff. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Bye.